Hi, my name is Vanda and this is It Is Mandatory. but I didn't realize you can actually eat it as a low carbohydrate and a gluten-free treat. What I'm talking about is pizza, yes. So a lot of you like to enjoy and indulge in some of these treats like pizza, but you may not necessarily want to have all the carbs that come along with it. And I discovered this recipe that I think is amazing that I want to share with you, which is basically making a pizza crust using cauliflower. Yes, trust me, it is so 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 good you guys stay tuned and watch it it's very simple something you can do at home get your pen get your paper watch and let me know how it is and how you like it so part one of this video we are beginning by making the cauliflower pizza base and what I do is I take my cauliflower and I separate the leaves and uh, of course wash it with some vinegar and some water and then I separate it into smaller pieces and put it in a food processor now the idea is to get um, the, the cauliflower into really really small pellets that almost look like rice and um, so you do not pulse it too much so that it over processes but just enough for you to get the end result as you can see here if you don't have a food processor do not fret you can you can use a grater um, this is yeah this is a step where you can use a grater it may be a bit more time consuming and um, strenuous but you'll still get the same end result so i take two cups of cauliflower and i put it on a pan and i heat it on low heat just to get all the cauliflower that ha all the water that is containing cauliflower out of it so it takes about four to five minutes i let it cool and then to it I add two eggs and one cup of Parmesan cheese and um, before you start calling me out yes I know I just put in one egg but I'm going to put in another one as you can see right there so once that mixture is done I take um, foil paper and I put it on uh, the oven tray or baking tray whatever you want to call it and I sort of mold a pizza base shape and I try to make the edges a bit thicker than the rest of the pizza base just because the edges always um, get ready faster so you don't want it burning. Put it in the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes and our pizza base is done. Now we're on to part two, build up the pizza. What I begin by doing is taking some tomato paste and ba basically covering the pizza base with the tomato paste. And onto it, I put some onions, red bell peppers, um, yellow bell peppers, green bell peppers, some ham, some mushroom, some tomatoes, mozzarella and cheddar, and of course some salt to taste. Once that's done and looks beautiful as it does, pop it in the oven. Oh yes, you can see I made two. Ha ha ha. And that's how it comes out after about 15 to 20 minutes in the oven. You have a perfectly delicious pizza. It tastes just as good as it looks. I mean, it's that simple, guys. Gluten-free, low-carb pizza. It doesn't get any better than this. It tastes amazing and it's way less in calories like 
yeah let me know if you liked the video um leave your comments below if you're gonna try it at home let me know if you do try it tag me hashtag me whatever follow me on instagram youtube facebook it's all the same it is mandatory and for those of you who specifically asked for this video you know yourselves this is for you because i shared it on my instagram and some of you are like who want to see the recipe so that's why i've done it because of all of you and i'd like to say thanks to tebby jewels who have decked me out you can see the amazing next neck piece i'm wearing plus the ear piece if you would like some of their jewelry i will leave the link at the end so you can follow them on facebook and their number and their website you can shop online it's that amazing so thank you for sh for sh thank you for watching <laughs> and um i hope to catch you on episode three god bless you bye